All right, guys, Shepherdess at Harmony Farms coming at you today with the 15 costs of raising sheep. These are 15 costs that you need to put a pencil to for yourself before jumping into sheep ranching if you're looking at it to be a profitable, beyond homestead, beyond family experience opportunity for yourself. I'm gonna give you 10 startup costs and then five annual recurring costs. If you want a printable with all costs listed, please click on the link down below to do so. One of the things I really wanna harp on is that everybody's costs will be different. The price per acre is different from state to state. Seed stock will be different according to what breed you choose. But really quickly, in line with answering one of your questions per video, I'm gonna actually answer a question from Jason, which really reflects what a lot of you were asking about last week's video in which I talked about getting to $100,000 in gross sales on farm. And he asks, why do you focus so much on the gross? As we know, it's all about the net. Basically, if you spent a million dollars to make $100,000, you would not be profitable at all. And the answer to that is I've costed all of my enterprises at a net profit minimum of 30%. My net profit can go down as my scale goes up. But the bottom line here is cost first. And having done that to a thorough extent, you can then move on to make your gross revenue goals. With my business plan, I can scale it to $1 million. With the areas and the ways in which I am actively diversifying, my income on my small farm and yours, hopefully, really doesn't have much of a limit, which I wanna to talk to you about creativity in the startup phase. This list is a list of 15 common costs, but there are about a million uncommon ways that you can approach them. You don't need to start straight out of the chute absolutely perfect, okay? And I really wanna encourage you in that. Get kind of scrappy and do it better and better every year. All right, cost number one is the cost of seed stock. And seed stock just refers to the sheep that make up your starter flock. This is an area that I would not scrimp on. Right now, you can get a really good quality commercial Dorper U for about $350. If you're a beginner, I would not advise that you start with a registered animal. Those can go anywhere from $600 to $1,600. Cost number two is land. And land in 2022 can either be bought, leased, or bartered for. The unfortunate reality is that the price of grazing and farmland in the United States has gotten to such an exorbitant place that in most states you cannot pay for the price of that land with any grazing animal. And that is the truth of it. But the bright side is that now leasing land is more of an opportunity than ever before and that's exactly what I do. In my area, it costs about $35 per acre per year to graze my animals on an acre of land that would cost me twelve or $14,000 per acre to buy. Number three expense is water. Ponds, wells, hose access, and portable tanks are all options for your watering system. And if there's no water access on your land, sheep have an advantage in that they don't drink much water. If your flock is at a scale of 60 or less, you can haul the water on the back of a pickup truck with a water tank. As far as the cost on a watering system, you can get anywhere from 15,000 plus on ponds or wells, or you could go $230 and buy a water tank for the back of your pickup truck. Cost number four is perimeter fencing. And when it comes to small scale sheep farming, you really need to invest in the perimeter fencing. The fencing at my farm is a six inch woven wire perimeter fencing. And the cost on that is about $478 per 330 linear foot. And that's materials only. Number five is that you will want handling pens or systems. I started out with about a $400 or $500 pen that we created using some lumber, hog panels, and cement in the ground. And that was a really great start. I have since upgraded to a Lakeland Farm and Ranch handling system. But in your very beginning phases, learn how to handle your sheep in a small pen and then move up from there. Number six cost is shelter and your sheep will need a place to escape from freezing rain or predators. When it comes to prices or shelter options, it could be anything from a $500 carport from Facebook Marketplace or you could go a full $20,000 barn build. Just make sure it is gated in case of predation. You want something that predators cannot get into in case your sheep need a safe place. The next four items on the list are pretty isolated to installing a rotational grazing system on your sheep farm. And I would not recommend buying sheep or owning sheep unless you're willing to do some sort of a rotational grazing system. It doesn't have to be a crazy once a day move, but if you move your sheep at least once a week, you are going to notice incredible things with respect to the health of the flock, as well as your feed bill. It's gonna cut down on a lot of overwintering feed because your land is gonna produce a lot more grass on a rotational grazing system. 
but the costs included in a rotational grazing system will be a fence charger, which a good unit will be anywhere from 250 to 1000. You will want electrical access for that fence charger because solar chargers really are not a good option for sheep. Typically the power output for price in your standard store-bought solar units, it's too low to contain a sheep. Number nine is a set of rotational grazing supplies. If you're curious about those tools, I have a complete list of my rotational grazing supplies infrastructure available for you using the link below. Now that we've completed our list of startup costs, I'm gonna segue into the annual recurring costs. For me, a recurring cost is the price of my land lease. Another annual cost is veterinary bills. And it's not sustainable to haul your animal to the vet for every single medical emergency. You really need to get an education on how to handle some of the basics at your farm. And you really need to determine when it's time to just put the animal down rather than taking it to the vet. But there are situations that it just makes sense to take that animal to the vet. And for that, I put about a $7 per head budget on each sheep in my flock per year for veterinary expenses. Number 12 will be medicines and vitamin shots. And on my farm, I use CDT, I use dewormer, vitamin B, as well as the selective administration of antibiotics. There is a $15 per head budget on this medical supplies per year in my flock. And this handles not only the ewe itself, but any offspring she produces. So for $15, the ewe plus whatever offspring she has, has all the medicine it needs for the entire year. Number 13 is supplemental feed. If I was to be feeding hay for the full 90 days of winter, I would be at about $47 per head in hay. On average, I only feed for about 20 to 30 days worth of winter, and if we have a good rain year, I don't feed anything over winter to my sheep. So my costs are roughly $15 per head per year, and this covers the minerals as well that I feed on pasture. Expense number 14 will be transportation. You will need a way to get your animal to market whether that's a customer or a butcher or a sale barn. The 15th expense annually will be mortality, and that's just something you have to deal with. National average mortality rate is about 15% on the open range, which means from birth to market, a sheep farmer expects to lose about 15%. If you missed last week's video, tap here for my three-part framework for diversifying income streams on farm.